Hi YouTube Model Railroaders, welcome to the July-August 2017 update of the Moyne Valley Railroad. This month I'd like to talk a little bit about a new freight car forwarding program that I've used called JMI Operations. Uh, this is taking the place of my uh, former car card waybill system. Uh, the system that I had before uh, worked really well, but it it seemed like after three or four sessions the same cars would kind of end up at the same industries. and just uh, kind of seemed repetitive and uh, so with this new system it's all uh, run through the computer um, it takes a little bit of finessing to get it set up but once it's set up you get uh, enough randomness uh, in your plan that uh, you don't see the same cars at the same sightings so it works really well um, it took a little like I said a little bit of a learning curve to get things set up with the way uh, my layout operates uh, I basically have two staging yards at each end, but I also have a couple of, well, one interchange point, which is a staging yard, and then one remote station on a branch line that is also a staging yard. So getting those set up was a little uh, tricky, but I think I've got it set up. The one thing with the GMRA operations is you have to kind of put it through the paces a few sessions to see if it gets it, so to speak, that you you basically had set the right settings so that things are moving the way they should. And I think we're there. So um, for this video, I'd like to give you kind of a broad overview. Uh, I'm not going to make this thing too detailed. Um, I could answer individual questions uh, in the comments below, but I'll kind of show you, maybe run through a, a session where I set it up on the computer, build the trains on the computer, uh, maybe a particular train, um, like we'll do like maybe the Oski local or, or the Oski turn or a Pella local or even one of the through trains and get you an idea of how it works. But uh, it's been a really great program and I think I'm going to be enjoying it for a great long time to come. Uh, the other benefit of the program is you don't have to worry about waybill boxes. So I basically eliminated all the car card waybill boxes on the layout, which gives the fascia a nice smoother look. I do have a couple places where I have Velcro where I can clip my uh, clipboards because with the car, this new system, um, it, it does do uh, printouts of your switch list so you can check off where your cars are and are uh, spotted at the industries and pickups and set outs and all that kind of stuff. So a little bit different look. Um, a little more paper to go through, a little more ink with the printers, but <laughs> all in all it's uh, uh, a better way to run things and you don't the, the really cool thing about the system is that you can track your cars uh, if you ever want to know where a particular car is you just go into the computer program and it'll tell you where your car is whether it's in a, a staging yard or an industry so just a lot better management system as well, well anyway before any further ado let's uh, go through the system well here we have our uh, limited freight coming into Pella Limited uh, stop freight, as you can see there. Number train 120. Uh, it's already picked up the these cars in Des Moines. So what I can do is check those off. And because it's a limited stop train, there's no work in Monroe, no work at Otley, no work at the, at the Pella Industries, but at Pella Yard. You'll see it says to pick up AMC 1033, that's an empty from track two, and pick up CAD boxcar from track two as well. And it's going to set out two cars. It's going to set out ATSF 152033 to track one, and it's going to set out BNSF 432334 uh, to track two. So Let's watch as it does that. Uh, right here is the Pella Yard. And the two cars we are looking to pick up are the AMC 1033, which are this one, this is this one here, and the CAD, which is this one here, the KD's Railroad. So we've got these two cars on track two, and then we'll be setting out one car on track one and one car on track two. comes our train into the yard right now.
right. So we have done that clipboard out here. We picked up the AMC 1033 and we picked up the CAD 1109 and we set out the boxcar Santa Fe and the BNSF hopper. So we are good to go. Uh, looks like we don't have any work until we get to the other staging yard. And there it is. We set out those five cars at the staging yard. So high ball. On board. All right, so our train is now in the staging yard. So we can check everything's here. Our next step after a uh, train is coming to staging is uh, usually I will set it out to the storage bins, the storage drawers I have. So this is where the, the five fingers come in because it is more of a um, manipulating staging yard where I uh, physically move the cars into uh, storage drawers and then I'm able to bring out the next set of cars for the next train. So I'll go over the computer and uh, we'll show how that's done. Okay, well here is my uh, JMRI trains that I have set up in the computer. Uh, the train that we just terminated was train number 120. And if you look up here at train 120, it is right here. I don't have this connected to any panel pro or anything, so it still shows that it's in Des Moines, but it hasn't. Uh, what, I, what I usually end up doing is terminating the train. So now that it has entered Atumwa, we terminate it. And it asks if you for sure want to do that, and I did. So it has been terminated, and it's terminated on Tumwa Track 1, which is where it came in. So now that the train is in Tumwa, and the computer knows it's in Tumwa, we can build a train, well, it's called a train, but we can just build a uh, sequence that moves the cars to storage. And what I have there is, I call it the OTM Transfer East, because our train was an eastbound, and it made it to Tumwa. But what it says here, under OTM Transfer East, a Tumwa yard to points east. What that kind of translates to is to storage box east. And um, I wonder if I can change that. Let's see. Right now it shows track four, but I don't think we want to do that. Oh, okay. There we go. So... We just built that, a Tumwa Track 1, to Storage Box East. Evidently that was the last one. It showed the last one they did. So we've got that built. So if we hit Preview down here, we can take a look at the screen real quick. Okay, so I brought this up. And so what we have then is we pick up our Rock 4303. We don't literally pick it, this one up. But we uh, it will come out of Track 1, and it sets out to the Whitetail, which is basically a track I have between my two staging yards, between the Atomo yard and the Des Moines Shortline yard. And uh, that's kind of where the locomotives go, so they're out of the way. 
So the thing is I can't really do that until I move the cars out of the way since I have a stub end yard. So what I have to do is physically pick up these five cars and I have storage drawers that I put them in. So the first car, UPFE, will go to drawer number two and sometimes these cars aren't quite in the order that they're in the train but basically you just look at the reporting marks and the type and just follow along what it tells you to do. Put them in drawer two, drawer three, drawer four, drawer five, and drawer six. After I put all the cars in their appropriate drawers then I will take the locomotive back it to the Y tail and then put it so it's out of the way. Then I will terminate this program as I showed like with the terminating when the train came into the to the yard. After I terminate this then the computer will see that I've or will think that I have put everything in its proper place and then I can generate another program to bring cars out of the storage drawers and put them back into on a track, a particular track that it, it asks me. If there's several tracks empty, it'll ask me which track I want to put it on. Otherwise, it'll pick the only track left. And then it'll assign a locomotive to go to that track. So, really kind of cool program. Again, it's hard to talk about the details on how it all works, but it does work. So, what I'll do next now is I will print this because... And I guess this is where sometimes the paper and ink kind of get going because I can't remember where all these go. You know, I can't remember where all the cars, what drawers they need to go into. So what I have to do is then hit print and print it out. And what's nice though is that because my railroad's fairly small, is that it prints most of the stuff other than uh, the local freights, which hit pretty much every station along the road, but. Um, most of the storage stuff and uh, the faster freights print only on a half sheet. So I can print literally four uh, different sequences on a piece of paper. So I could print from storage to the yard, then print from the yard to the other yard if it's a through freight, or if it's a limited stop freight to the Pella yard and then to the uh, other yard. And then I can print another program back to the storage. So you can get several sequences. Uh, the only, like I said, the only one that takes up the full sheet of paper are the local freights that have lots of multiple car setouts and pickups at all the stations along the route. Okay, so to mimic what I just showed you on the computer is now we will take the car, the first car here that it talks about is the UPFE. We'll take it out and put it in drawer number two. So I've got drawer number two here for the Atoma staging. I've also got two drawers for Oskaloosa here. So the two for the branch line and then we've got six, actually seven, but only six being used right now for this edge of the staging yard. The other side of the staging yard, same thing. We have six drawers for the De Des Moines side and then we've got two drawers for the uh, Iowa Interstate Interchange that is at Monroe. So, follow up, our next car is the CB and Q, which is our hopper car here. And that tells us to go to drawer number three. So, three. And I have these set up just like it would be a yard in the program of how, how much trackage the yard has. So, through trial and error, I came up with a certain amount, and that basically gives me a full drawer without overfilling it. And then, same with the next one, we've got a Fruit Express BNFE, and that says to go to drawer number four. So we come down here to drawer number four, and we add our car. And then the next one is the AMC. This one goes into drawer number five. Back down we go to drawer number five, and so on and so forth. Last car goes into drawer number six. And so we're good to go there. Just enough room for this guy. Gotta, it's a little sloppy in putting those, but there's usually just enough for eight cars. There we go. So that's good. So now we can move our locomotive 
to the white track. So I'll, I'll basically back him up and I need to pull these forward but it will switch there and then park out of the way ready to be distributed onto another train. So anyway, that's kind of a small capsule view of how the JMRA operation system is going to work on my railroad. Uh, it's not a hard, fast, uh, set way right now. I'm still learning as I go along. So as I dive deeper into the program and uh, learn the little uh, nuances of it, I will uh, adapt it uh, to my railroad as, as I can. So anyway, I just wanted to give you guys an update because it had been consuming a lot of my time these last couple of months. So that's really all I have to update right now. I haven't been working much with uh, the scenery or anything on the layout. It's pretty much operations only right now. So <laughs> that's kind of the way it goes in model railroading. You know, there's a, you get stuck on a project and you just kind of want to, I, at least for me, I want to see it through mostly to the end and then uh, before I start on a new one rather than doing a little bit here, a little bit there and all that. So, so right now it's operations mode. So I will uh, proceed further with this program and uh, report back if there's any other interesting uh, tips to pass along. Um, I encourage you to give it a try if you've been kind of wondering uh, what operations program to use and are kind of tired of the waybill, uh, car card and waybill system and want to try something, uh, an alternate, to give, give it a try. Take a look at it and see if, uh, what you think about it. Anyway, that's all I have for this month. I hope you guys have a good uh, rest of summer and I'll catch you here in a couple more months right here on the Des Moines Valley Railroad. Take care.